everybody, welcome back for another video. I'm John, and you're here with Planning at John, and welcome to another Vlogtober episode. In this episode, I'm going to set up next week, so this will be a plan with me. We do have a nice tea tonight. We have the hot cinnamon spice, and I'm not sure if this is a um, black tea or not. I might end up being up late tonight. Um, briskness is a one, body is a two, aroma is a five. Caffeine content, 40 to 60 milligrams. Okay, so there is caffeine. I guess it is a black tea. Um, yeah, black tea, cinnamon, orange peel, sweet clove, natural and artificial flavors. It is one of my favorite teas from Harney and Sons. It smells amazing, too. It smells like if you've ever done any baking, those little cinnamon red hots, those little cinnamon candies that you would put on top of iced cakes and muffins and stuff, that's what it, it smells like, and it's a nice pretty brown color. Mmm, cinnamon. Yum, yum. Okay, so we're back in the... Uh, standard rings from Mystics Little Gifts. And let's see. Oh, I wanted to show you. I think I did, but here's a couple of the um, dashboards that I made with all the pumpkins and gourds from um, Trader Joe's. I don't have anything in my inbox there. Um, so. So let's go to the weekly view. Some things I need to do is I haven't gotten the coffee ready. Did that and did that. So the only thing I'll have to do later tonight is get the coffee ready. Um, I started working on the letter of recommendation. And I'm going to see if I can finish it up on Monday and Wednesday when I have a little bit more time. Oh, I need to take my temperature. Let's do that right now. We have one of these little Walgreens ones. And I'll probably speed this up or pause. And it is 97.9. So it stayed the same today. Um, my, my temperature tends to be on the low side for sure. Um, so there that is. Um, and what I want to do is, okay, let me grab, I'm going to need a tracker for next week. And let me grab a, um, Another post-it pad. So I need to write down uh, the things that didn't get finished. So where's the top? Okay. So the first thing that didn't get finished was the University of North Texas letter of recommendation for my student. And I'm just waiting on an order. We'll say order from China. Um, it's it's still in China, so let's take that out. Now, here we are in next week. There's another one of my pretty photos. I have um, two more that I'm going to print out later today, and um, or tonight, because it's actually evening time. Let me get these post-its out of the way because I've got some things that I didn't get done because of other things this week. So let's mark those things right here at the top. Oh, this insert, I know I've shared it before. It is from Scrap Craftastic uh, from her Patreon. Um, she gives a dated one for Patreon, um, but you can buy an undated one on her uh, web page and then just print it and use it as, as much as, as you want. So let's see. By letter, like number of important, um, importance, 
UNT letter of recommendation. The due date is 10.30 by Friday. Um, and then I'm waiting on an order from China. Okay. So that's all that's there. Now, let's put in my normal stuff. So on Monday, I teach TCC, my two classes, some three to five. And then of course I've got a vlog. Uh, Tuesday is another TCC day. And since I have that there, why don't I work on UNT letter of recommendation? I think that is, let's pull up the monthly just to double check. Yeah, all I have this week is my teaching. No rehearsing, no concerts, no none of that stuff. Um, Wednesday is a um, TCC day, but that's just a three to four. And we'll probably do laundry on on Wednesday. Now, Thursday, it's a TCC and TU day. And then Friday, nothing except we're in the evening. Temple. I think Temple this week is a, a 6 p.m., not like last week it was 7.30, so I was able to catch it on the replay when I got home from rehearsal. Oh, that's right, vlog. Because we've just got a few more days of vlogtober and um, I'm sleeping in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write letter of rec. UNT is due. Um, let's see, Saturday is Halloween. Draw myself a little pumpkin. Um, now my little mark that I've been using for tracking the, um, when the vlog actually does go up. I've been putting a little YT for YouTube in here. So there's only one, two, three, four, five, six more days of Vlogtober. And after this video, only five. Um, it's It's been a lot of fun to do Vlogtober, but it sure does take oh, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, oh, and Temple in the evening for Havdala. I could write Havdala. Okay, so I need my little tracker. So I gotta track my dishes. I always track the dishes to make sure those get done. Trash to make sure we get stuff out of the house. Make sure the kitty litter gets cleaned. The pet water, just to make sure that, you know, it gets refreshed the day we actually do laundry so I can check to make sure we have clean clothes. Seamus's little walks in the morning and then the coffee ready. 
So those are the things that I like to track. Um, these I haven't gotten done. I've started organizing stuff in the dining room. Uh, I want to film what's on my cart and then I've got more stuff to purge. Um, I'll actually just set that back there. And then these are some Peaky Dory things that I, I want to do. Um, haven't gotten them done, but that's what this looks like for, ooh, for um, next week. So that's the next week planning. Um, it looks like it's going to be a, um, okay, I don't need that anymore because I wrote that stuff down. There's my tracker for next week. I can't get the bookmark up. Oh, some people asked where I got this, um, brown file effects from, and I got it from my, um, I have an A5 uh, Falifax in the Ochre Malden, and it came with that. I also have a um, pocket ring Ochre Malden from Filofax and a personal size. And um, they all, the brown Ochre Malden came with the brown bookmark. And I actually, I really like it. It, it kind of suits my fall vibe, vibe that I have. And here I'm going to stick these back here. So there we are, the end of October. Um, let's see, some things that I, I know I want to, to to work on this week. And these are things that I can do on like Thursday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and maybe even over the weekend, is I want to go through the walk-in closet There's um, stuff that I just, I need to look at and decide, you know, if it's being donated somewhere, if I'm giving it away to someone, if I'm selling it or if I'm just pitching it. So I want to go through the, the, the walk-in closet and there's some things that I have to look at. I have to look at my music, like actual papers, paper music I have. An incredible library of stuff. Um, I need to look at my CDs. I have about 5,000 classical music CDs, um, which I haven't listened to in probably two or three years. We moved them towards the back of the closet and they've just sat there. So I've got to do that. Um, in the dining room. I think if I write it down, it'll help to see it. Um, in the dining room, I need to go through my Sterilite, I think that's how you spell it, um, bins. Um, some have craft supplies. Some have art supplies. And others, I have no idea what's in them. Um, and again, the same thing. I want to really make some tough decisions and decide what to do. And then I think something I'm going to do this week is um, film a D stash for TNs. And when I say do say TNs, I mean Traveler's Factory TNs. Of course, there are going to be others. There's going to be some Foxy Fix and maybe a um, Lady Falcon Traveler or two. Um, a couple of no names. Uh, yeah, you know, stuff like that. Um, so I can really make sure that I, I only have you know, items that I will use because I, I just have way, way, way too many um, so that's something I want to get done this week. I'll put that there. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. Um, if you were here for yesterday's video, it was kind of a long one. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize how long it was going to be. I set up this. It is a, um tool. It's kind of hard to see. 
T U L um, disc uh, book, and um, I've got an inbox with some note paper, and I want to. I'm going to use blue black ink with this. Um, so today is Sunday, October twenty fifth. So something that I did today that I think was a, a um, health body positive thing was some food prep. Uh, I took carrots, celery, uh, cucumbers, um, bell peppers, Tomatoes. There was something else. Celery, cucumber, bell pepper, oh, radishes. Um, I cut them, you know, cleaned and cut, and they're ready in uh, Tupperware. I need to eat more fruits, I need to eat more veggies, and I think having them just ready to go, like, I can go to Salada and I can eat salad all the time. I love that place. Uh, the only thing that's hard about that place is it's, it's quite expensive. So if I can make sure that I have at home the things that I will put on a salad, then it, it makes my job so much easier. Um, I also cleaned... Uh, we have some hearts of romaine. And then also, I cleaned some spinach. So I, I've been thinking about um, trying to have two large salads with fruit and veggies um, at least once, or I'm, try I'm trying to shoot for twice a day for my midday meal and my... Um, late afternoon, early evening meal. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking of some things that I want to have in the house. Um, I want some olives, black olives. Um, I want to have some sun-dried tomatoes. Um, I think we're, we need to get a little more balsamic vinegar. I, um, vinegar, I, um, something like that, um, I, I tend to usually have, like, balsamic vinaigrettes or sun-dried tomato vinaigrettes or things like that, um, I, I tend to like those type of, uh, dressings, um, something I thought of getting with some arugula, and I'm just kind of brainstorming this stuff here. Um, we do have some of those, um, little bell peppers, those, um, I think they call them baby bells that I need to clean and do something with. I thought since I had bell peppers that needed to go first, because these are newer, I might as well use those first. Um, arugula. Um, we don't have any cheese in the house, and I'm trying to stay away from cheese because it sometimes uh, can give me some sinus issues. So um, so I'll, on my salad this evening, I put um, nutritional yeast, and, you know, it kind of gives it that, that savory cheesiness. Um, uh, the husband is vegan, and he's doing some raw stuff, but I'm still going to have some chicken. Um... I had tuna this evening. I think we have fish in the freezer. I think we've got some salmon, tilapia, and... Oh, what is it? Mahi-mahi? I think we have some of that, so that might be nice to, to cook up. Um, but chicken and tuna, for sure. Um, we do... I think we have garbanzo beans. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Some people will call them chickpeas. Um, 
it's it's almost the right season. Um, I want to look for some sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. Um, they're sometimes really nice to um, to uh, roast uh, under the broiler and then you know put on your salad. I, at least I think so. Um, it gives it a little sweetness, some protein, a little bit of carb, but a uh, you know just a little bit, not a lot. So. Hmm. Just kind of, I'm thinking of all of the stuff that I would get if I was at um, Salada. Papitos? Uh, what are those? Um, pumpkin seeds? Papitos? I have no idea why I remember them as papitos instead of pumpkin seeds, but papitos? Um, hmm. Sometimes I get sprouts, but, you know, I've got to, hmm, since it's something I normally don't have in the house, I don't want them to go bad. Um, so, yeah, so just a little brainstorm of some things. And then when I go through this this week before we grocery shop with what we have left, I will then, oh, there's the month. The week. I'll show you how I set up the week. I decided to use the grid first and I just put the month and then the date and I think what I'm going to use this for, um, I think I'm going to use this for tracking my meals, uh, use it for tracking uh, uh, let, let me write this down just so I think about it before I mark in here. I want to track my meals because that was the one thing that actually was good about Weight Watchers was with the app. I'm going to take a sip of tea. Ooh, cinnamon, so good. Um, that, that was good because it really let me see what I was eating. So I want to track my meals. I want to track my water consumption. Um, I'm not that good about tracking my water. I'm not that good about drinking my water. I can drink coffee, tea, soda. One thing I haven't had in a couple of days is a soda, which is amazing. So I'm going to see if I can make it a week. Um, did we have... I had a soda when I had Taco Bell two days ago, so it's only been two days that I haven't had soda, so it's not like a, a major feat or anything. Um, but that would be something to soda tracking. And I'm trying to figure out how do I want to do that. Um, you know, how, how do I want to use this? Do I want to have a little insert? Um, that would go with this for the, just tracking for the week. For me, a, a weekly tracker works best. And that's where this little post-it. I think I have them up here. No. I don't know where they is. Oh. This could be something that would be good for tracking. It's a weekly tracker. I wonder if I can take this and just make it like a daily tracker or find a way to make a daily tracker to print on a post-it. But this is something I could use. I'm just trying to, to use things that I have or things that won't cost any money um, because I've I did spend some this month, which you'll see at the end of this month, beginning of next month for the no spend, low spend. Um, but I have stuff and I'm going to try and use what I have or um, kind of MacGyver it myself. So I want to track my meals. I want to track my water. I want to track um, that I'm not drinking soda. I don't want to drink soda. Soda not drinking 
tracking, um, and also treadmill time. Because um, even if I do just 15 to 30 minutes at the beginning, because I've got to start somewhere, um, if I just start doing that. And, and I, I really like the idea that I had, that I said yesterday, of um, uh, not having more than two days in a row off. So I printed the 2020 um, Peanuts Planner Co. This is just a piece of laminate that I uh, punched so I can kind of have a little little marker for where we are. Um, now, of course, most of this month is over, so we'll be here. So I've got this last week, um, and I haven't decided how I'm going to use the monthly tracker. This might be for um, actually tracking the days that I work out. Um, you know what I was thinking would be really nice are those little black circle stickers that I have from AliExpress, those little washi tape ones to um, put a little dot on the days that I work out. But I want to, so I, I don't become a, a, a freak or a fanatic about it, and or so I don't let, um, you know, missing a day due to my schedule. Um, you know, freak me out. Like, say I work on the walk on the treadmill tomorrow or today, the twenty sixth, and on the it's tomorrow for me. It's today for you if you're watching this in real time, and then I I do on the twenty seventh. But then say like the twenty eighth, you know, I have a bunch of stuff come up that I have to do, and so I don't. And then say the twenty ninth, the same thing. I know Friday the thirtieth, I have nothing scheduled, so you know, no more than two days in a row that I don't work out. Um, so that way, if I did that, I'd get one, two, three, you know, at least three, maybe four. And if I happen to be on the first of November, five or one, two, three, Four, you know, so it, it ends up being at least three to four times a week, um, and and that way, um, it, I know it. It's it helps to have the regular and the consistency. Like I'm working out on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Friday, Sunday, or whatever it is. Um, what I'm I'm going to do is not try and set that rigid of a schedule with myself. So that way, um, I can roll with how I'm feeling since it's it's been a while since I've worked out or walked on the treadmill. I mean, I think I have to move a bunch of the husband's clothes off of it. And I think there's some boxes sitting in front of it so we can actually lay down. Um, yeah, boxes of books that I just want to get rid of. Um, yeah, so that's how I'm going to use that. That's how I'm planning on using the weekly. And, and I, I like the idea of a post-it tracker of, of some sorts, or just like a half of a half page tracker, so it'll be right here. Um, and I don't have anything in here yet. Um, it's the grocery guide, but I'm, I'm going to wait until I kind of work through some ideas up here. Here. In my inbox, I kind of use it like a brain dump, and that's what I've started. And then what I'll probably do is some of this stuff will make it to a post-it note, and then that post-it note will make it back here in the grocery guide. And then what I could do is like just use a week, a week, a week, a week, a week, a week. So that way I can see what I'm purchasing. Um, and I also want to track, you know, do do I use it all? Do we use it all? Do we throw it away? Did we buy too much? So that way I'm really being mindful of that. And I'm going to, I'm going to, like I have with Vlogtober, I am going to hold myself to the fire and I am going to use this and keep track and I'm going to hold myself accountable so I can share it with you how this is going if, if it's going well you know what about it I like if it isn't going well you know what what can I change um, 
Yeah, so that's where we are. And I think I might bring a new color into the mix. I've been using gray in my little personal one just for tracking the um, stuff because that's all black and white. Um, I've been using this one in my personal uh, in my in it's my personal planner, but it's standard rings because um, it's kind of it's a a neutral um, like a, a white person nude, um, so, but it comes off a little bit brown. And so since I'm using blue black in here, I might use one of my bluish um, Tombow markers. Here in my Mindy Lacefield pouch, <laughs> I have all of my combos, a bunch of stickers and stuff. And God knows what else. Hmm. There was a real pretty blue I had. Um, I don't think it was that. That one came with the Christmas set, which I thought was quite a strange. This is a really cool, pretty, um, uh, Artist Loft. Artist Loft has some really nice items. Remember when everyone was using these little Stadler Triplus pens and highlighters and pencils? Um, I guess we use that one. What do I have in here? Oh! <laughs> little look through my pouch. A bunch of Foxy Fix. I loved that Spice Midnight. I'm so bummed it sold out. This was one of the um, moccasin leathers. Here's the mint. I've got all of these. Remember when they had the dyed bay leather? That's the French lavender, French lavender, French lavender. Um, so we've got a bunch of those in here. And that's about it. That's all that's in there is a bunch of those. So I think this will be the blue uh, highlighter that I use. Um, I want to test it back here in my little notes section. So um, this is a um, Pentel Energel 05 and it's the blue black. So that's the pen that I'm going to use in here, and I've got three or four refills for this thing. And then this is the... That's a pretty blue. I think I need a happy blue for a, a weight tracker. <laughs> and which number is this? This is 452. Tombow. Four, five, two. It probably has some sort of a name, but uh, for the life of me, I couldn't tell you what it is. This one's really pretty. I um, where did I get this? I think this is one that I bought at um, Michaels. I I, I think it's so interesting. Uh, Nine four two. A lot of people will buy these individually from um, like cloth and paper and places like that. You can get these individually at um, Michael's. You can get them individually at like Jackson's Art. You don't have to buy those big um, packs of them. If, if you know you like 452 and that's the only color you want, you can just buy 452. You don't have to buy the big pack. And then this is rich gray. I usually go over that one a little bit. This is the Artist Loft. And it's the um, 150 Cool Gray. Griffois. So those are gonna be my colors for the different planners. The blue for here, this nude for my standard rings, 
and this pretty cool gray for my... I'll show you. For this ring planner that I've been using. So, I guess that's all that I have for aujourd'hui. Ce soir. Um, so I'll just put them all in my little pencil pouch from the Heat Lab. So there you are. I hope you enjoyed this little plan with me in two of my planners, my personal planner and my health journey planner. I think that's what I'll call it, my health journey, because that's what it is. Um, so there you are. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.